the feature drop which we have been waiting for is finally here yes we are talking about the google pixel 7 pro and the google pixel 7 in general the google pixel feature drop of december 2022 is being rolled out to supported google devices right now i do have it installed on my pixel 7 as you can see the security patch is from december 2022 which means this pixel 7 right now has the december google pixel feature drop now do note the features which i'm going to show you in this video they are not available across all the devices and this image on the screen right now courtesy of droid live will help you know that what december pixel feature drop features are available on your google pixel device so without any further delay let us get down to business the first change you will notice is that the build number of course has now changed then if you go to your home screen press and hold on the empty space go into wallpapers and style go into change wallpaper here in under curated culture the top three wallpapers which you see these are new wallpapers which they have added with the december google pixel feature drop then they've also added some new live bloom wallpapers now super important thing to note over here is that when i first installed this december build these were not available to me i got an update for the pixel live wallpapers application early this morning which is when i got this updated live bloom wallpapers and the latest version of that application the pixel live wallpapers is now 2.0 next up while we are still on the home screen they have changed the behavior when you tap on this google logo in the persistent search bar and in your application drawer it now opens up your google now feed and then if i tap on the search bar in the middle and here and i start searching for screenshot you will notice that they have also implemented system wide search as well so here it is you can see that it is now showing us the screenshots from the photos application and do note you have to enable this system wide search so you can go into home settings search on your phone here it is make sure that people and search on the web is enabled next up they have also added cough and snore detection so for that you will go into settings digital well-being here and go into bedtime mode and you should have cough and snore info now of course you do need to enable your bedtime mode set up a schedule for that for cough and snore detection to work on your google pixel then we have live translate for some new supported languages so if i go into settings system live translate and i try to add a language here it is for arabic you will see it is telling me you can have live translate for messaging and camera whereas here on the november build for arabic it is telling me it is only available for camera so yes the other languages which have now live translate support for messaging are danish swedish persian vietnamese and of course arabic then of course the next new feature which you get with the december pixel drop is the free vpn for pixel 7 and pixel 7 pro devices you do have to download the google one application from the play store and then you should have the benefits option and once you are in benefits you should have the option to enable or disable your free vpn service do note this service is only available in countries or regions where the pixel 7 and the pixel 7 pro were launched officially with two exceptions which is india and singapore so those of you who are in india and singapore unfortunately will not be able to use the free vpn service which they have added with the december drop on the google pixel 7 and the google pixel 7 pro next up we have something called clear calling so for starters where do you find clear calling you will go into settings then you will go into sound and vibration and scroll down you should see something called clear calling you have a master toggle to enable it and again it is telling us it is available depending on the wi-fi and the mobile network connection contained from your call is not sent to google so this is in short 
noise cancelling if you're in a noisy environment on a phone call it should work as a noise cancelling and the person on the other end should be able to hear you clearly and better of course this feature is not going to work for voip based calls and while we are in sound and vibration i noticed another new toggle if you go into the media option you have show media on lock screen so to quickly resume playback media player stays open on the lock screen this is a new toggle which has been added with the december pixel feature drop next up for the recorder application they have added labels if you are in transcript mode so it is going to tell you that person one is speaking or speaker one is speaking and then speaker two is speaking now unfortunately on my version of the recorder application i have not gotten this feature of labels but i'm pretty sure they're going to roll it out with an update to the recorder app next up a feature which was present in android for a pretty long time and then google decided to take it away but the community was not happy so they had to bring it back let us go into settings and battery here it is battery usage view usage from last full charge yes view battery usage from last full charge is back because they had changed it to view battery usage for past 24 hours so here it is battery usage since last full charge now do note that it is going to show you the data since the last full charge but for a maximum of seven days so if you are like eight days without a charge you will not get data for all the eight days then another feature which i noticed is if you go into your battery share you have a new toggle to turn it on automatically for a short period when your phone is plugged into a charger so your phone is plugged into a charger reverse wireless charging will be enabled for a short period of time if you do not use it it will automatically turn off and while we are talking about battery let us go into settings apps scroll down you will see a new option called app battery usage and once you tap on that it will list all the applications which are installed on your device if you go into say amazon shopping you can now customize whether you want this app to have unrestricted optimized or restricted access to your battery previously to do this you would have to go into settings then you would go into apps then you would go into that specific app and then you would go into app battery usage the next thing which i noticed with the december pixel drop is if i go into wallpapers and style and here and i try to change the application grid and i have a widget on my screen so previously on the november build you see how the clock is like squarish if i try to change the widget that has been fixed with this latest december pixel feature drop for google pixel devices and while we are on the home screen if i press and hold here you will notice that the widget settings has a gear icon besides it in the december build which is not present in the november build another change which i noticed is with respect to the lock screen so here it is if you go to the lock screen on the december build you will notice you have the text which says enter your pin on the top and that text is missing on the november build the other new feature which google announced is coming to google pixel devices with the december pixel drop is the fact that they're going to combine security and privacy into one option now when i installed this update on my pixel 7 i did get the quick setting tile for security and privacy but it did disappear after a reboot and as with all things google they do roll out some features in phases so i'm pretty sure over the next few days those of you who are like me haven't gotten the combined security and privacy menu you are going to get that change sooner rather than later next new feature which you will find in the pixel feature drop for december is that in your quick settings some of the icons have gotten animated so here it is the flashlight icon you can see is now animated on the november build it is not black when the flashlight is turned on over here on the december build it is black when the flashlight is turned on similarly the do not disturb icon has also been animated 
here it is on the november build nothing happens on the december build you see it rotates similarly you have animations for battery share hotspot has a new animation extra dim has a new animation color inversion has a new animation along with data saver the next new feature which i found is in the recents so let us go to the recents and let us try to activate our split screen so here it is split top now on the december build you will notice that tap another app to use split screen this toast notification is persistent and it has disappeared on the november build so let us use this one and then we have to choose another application so let us use the bedtime one the other change you will notice is when you double tap on this bar in the middle to switch the apps see how it's like there's no animation it's like pretty rough over here you do have an animation but again it's not perfect so yes you will see the jitteriness over here you see that it moves and then it moves again so the animation here is not smooth but yes they have added a new animation to your recents when you are using split screen applications next up the wi-fi sharing screen or the qr code has gotten some material use so if i go into settings network and internet go into internet tap on the gear icon besides the wi-fi which i'm using currently go into share over here if i enter my pin you will see the qr code pop up with your wi-fi password that screen has gotten a material you overhaul as well next change you will notice with the december feature drop for google pixel devices is in your quick settings media player here it is you can see the worm here has a circle and they have since changed the circle to a flat line i guess that is because of the jokes which were going around on the internet about this worm hair looking like something else which rhymes with worm and if you know what i'm talking about <laughs> do let me know in the comments below the next change you will notice is if you tap on this phone here in the pair new device has been changed to connect a device next up we have some changes in the display section of settings so let us go into settings and then we can go into display first of all if you access the brightness slider you will notice that the brightness slider is pretty different on the november build and then on the december build next up if you go into the screensaver option you will notice that the colors now has a better preview and I mean i am not sure what they're waiting for do it for photos as well right it's looking the odd person out over here and then when to start has moved from the bottom to the top over here and the next thing which you will notice is that if you scroll down all the way increase touch sensitivity has been renamed to screen protector mode to make it more obvious and while we are talking about settings if you go into system and then if you go into gestures and go into press and hold power button this is the style which you had previously you had a toggle for hold for assistant now they have changed it to radio buttons so you can use your press the power button to access the power menu or the google assistant lady and last but not the least if i go into settings system multiple users on the december build you will notice that you have the option to delete your guest data as well which is not present in the november build and there it is peeps those are the new features and bug fixes which i found in the december 2022 google pixel feature drop if i have messed out on any of the new features or bug fixes which you find do let me know via comments below